What's going on everybody? I am out with Fire Pond Guy. Fire Pond Guy's over there and Nick, right there. Hey, what's up? Kayak, I'm just gonna call you Kayak Guy. Like, cause that's like, I think that's what I called you in the last video. I didn't even say your name. I was like, we're with Kayak Guy, as if like he's been in the vlog before, which he hasn't, he's new. New to the vlog, so that's Kayak Guy, guys. Nice to, yeah, you guys can shake hands later. Anyways, I'm here. Um, I'm at a fire pond. You know, what's new? I'm with fire pond guy. You gotta keep up with the fire ponds. But today we're doing something different. Instead of taking the old 10 pounder boat out, I told Alec, hey, leave the boat at home and let's do some bank fishing. I haven't done some bank fishing in quite some time and I wanna teach you guys something, or at least attempt to. I mean, I'll do my best to teach you guys something new, but I'm gonna give you guys tips as I attempt to catch fish. And the goal today, my goal in last video when I was with him was to catch topwater fish and we failed. So that's the goal today. Topwater fish, I'm gonna be throwing the sprinkler frog, regular frog, whopper plopper, spook, buzz bait, all that fun stuff. It's super bright outside. I don't know why we got here so early, but we're, uh, we're gonna try to catch some topwater fish even though the sun's out. Sun's out, guns out, folks. Let's catch some bass. Yeah, it looks great. There's one. There's a fish. Yeah, that's a decent one. Well, I'm not fishing topwater, folks. Sun's just too high, so I switched over to the old swim jig and uh, caught a fish. That's not bad. Not a bad one to start the day. Not a giant, but I'll take it. It's probably pound, pound and a half or so. That's on a little, little bluegill colored, colored swim jig here. See you later, buddy. Like I said at the beginning, I wanted to fish topwater, but it's just too sunny. We got here too early. I was too eager to go fishing, so I switched to this. Something that's just, you know, more subsurface type thing. We've got really muddy water, so I probably should be throwing like a black and blue chatterbait, but I always throw chatterbait, so I want to mix it up, throw the old swim jig around, and uh, see if we can catch a few fish before that sun goes down. Once that sun starts to go down a little bit, I'll break out the topwater. See, for those of you guys that really want to see topwater, you're just going to have to bear with me here through a few fish catches before, before that happens. There he is, right out of the bushes. Come on, buddy. That's a decent one. There we go, on the old swim jig. Right there, there's a little little bushling over there. That's how I caught that fish right there. Put him back in the water. You, what's, how's the saying go? Let him go, let him grow? I don't know, some, sounds like something you'd see on Instagram, so I'm just gonna say it. But, like I said at the beginning, I wanna give you guys some tips. So, I am throwing a swim jig. You could definitely throw a spinner bait, chatter bait here. It's windy, that's key. Key, key, key to moving baits is, uh, is wind. So what I'm doing right now is I'm casting this thing out and letting it sink. That fish in particular, can't tell how well you guys can see that, but there's like a little lay down, like there's some trees right in there. And he came right out of there. Basically the same thing as if I were to take this thing and flip it in there like, you know, a beaver or like a jig or something, except I'm just using a moving bait. You can cover more water that way. So I caught that one like that. The other one I caught just casting kind of out in the middle of this pond, which seems kind of just, you know, not, you know, not really aiming at anything, just blind casting, which is somewhat true, but at the same time they were schooling and they were schooling up on some bluegills back in that little creek that's back down yonder where I caught that fish. So I don't really know if that helped you guys any. Um, I'm just kind of letting you guys know what I'm doing. And all you want to do is you, you want to cast this thing out there and just do nice steady retrieve, just swimming along every once in a while. You might want to do like a couple, couple pops like that. That all it does is just get a reaction strike out of them. But for right now, that's my go-to is a swim jig until the sun goes down so I can catch some, catch some more topwater fish. There's another one. Same bush, same bush. Yeah, that's a better one. That's a better one. Well, I think I found a little bit of juice there. That's definitely the biggest one for me so far. Right there, that's solid two, two and a half. Literally the same, same little creek. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about here. Just a nice little creek area. And they are munching, munching on the bluegills. If you guys have shad in your lake, throw a white one. Um, but if you guys have bluegills, throw like a black and blue or just a green pumpkin one like that. Catch us some fish. See you, buddy. Hell yeah, that was a bigger one. Well guys, it somewhat seems like I know what I'm doing here. I'm actually starting to catch some more fish now. 
just in this little just in this little wind it is wind blown though that's another tip i'll give you guys wind blown the wind's blowing this way you want to fish stuff that's up that's just how the thing works because it blows all the microorganisms up there and then bluegills like this feed on the microorganisms and the bass feed on the bluegill it's just kind of like a chain chain reaction There's one, yep, not by the dam. Still there, we just gotta, oh, oh yeah, we're, we're, see he's still on. He was just, he was just playing, playing possum with me. Now they're swim jig fish. It was like the farthest cast I've ever made with one of these things. There he is, what do you need to spit out? He just spit something out. There we go, look how tiny that guy's mouth is. Got a squeaker. Not, not the size we're after today. We're after the giants, but usually those come out and play like a little closer to the dark. So right now we're just having fun in the nursery, Squeaker Fest 2017. See you, Chris. There he goes. Same bait. All right, you guys are probably tired of me using this bait, so I'm gonna go find something else to use. So right now I'm actually changing baits. I'm gonna go to more of a, kind of a, just a slower presentation for now. I've tried topwater, but again, it's just too, too sunny and too windy, I believe for right now. I'm gonna go with creature bait right here this is actually one of my all-time favorite ones i used to this all the time in high school but i've got a trick for you guys you want to you want to take a little dye pen here and i'll link all this stuff down below if you guys want to buy any of it and what you do is you just kind of hold it out like this and you just just like the first inch or two on both sides you want to color color it in chartreuse and why you do that is one the water is a little dirty so this helps the fish see this bait since it's brown and the water is pretty much brown another thing is it just it adds flash to it when this these are this is basically the only appendage on this bait that actually kicks and moves around and when it's bright colored like this it's going to basically you know do the same thing a spinner bait blade would just kind of a flash just something for them to hone in on it's not much just you guys can see it's just the just the tips hey guys just the tip only only the tip and just like that you got yourself good old texas rig i'm going to be throwing that on the flares frog and flipping stick I'm gonna do a little flipping around, light Texas rig, like 316 sounds. Just kind of, it's just big and slow. It's all it is. It's a big, big bait, big presentation, slow moving, just, just, just perfect. Just like I was talking about with the swim jig, you want to find cover. So you can see there's a tree down here, a couple trees here. So what you want to do is you just want to kind of make a nice little, little pitch in there, sink down to the bottom. Anytime you're fishing and there's any type of brush, any cover pick up just something like this, like this. You could throw a craw, you could throw a jig, you could throw just a little Senko if you wanted. This is one of my all-time favorite ones. Just big, bulky, catches big fish. I think it looks good. But that's just another tip for you guys. Although I was catching him on the swim jig, it's important you also kind of slow down and there he is, there he is, just like that. It's important that you slow down because uh, you'll miss fish. I already fished this section with a swim jig and uh, pitched back in there with the old T-rig and caught a fish. It's no, it's no giant. Again, we're we're kind of, kind of in the nursery today, but that's okay. It's still fun. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying. If you guys still enjoy these fishing videos, please leave a like down below. Thanks. See you later, Richard. Whoop whoop. Back in the water, Richard goes. There's one, there's one, finally, finally. Come on, don't come off, fish. Oh my God, you guys have no idea how excited I am right now. You have no idea. Oh my gosh, this thing's coming right at me. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh, it's coming right at me. Get up in here. Yes, oh my God. I've never been so excited to catch a one and a half pound largemouth in my life. You guys have no idea. I, you probably haven't heard anything. I haven't talked because I'm just pissed. I'm freaking pissed. I spent two hours literally the last like hour and a half to two hours fishing topwater and I have had no action whatsoever. If this dude would just chill out for a second. Finally, 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 you guys are probably thinking I'm crazy for getting so excited over this little squeak, squeak, freaking McGee, but I have, uh, all right, I'll let this guy go. See you, buddy. Whoop. But I have been fishing two hours with this bait, 
determined to catch a spook fish just because I have not caught one in a video in a long time. I know that sounds stupid. You guys are probably thinking flare. Just go use what's going to work. Well, I had a goal this morning, or not this morning, today, later today, right when I got to the lake, I'm going to catch topwater fish, not the frog. I mean, I did try the frog, but I, it wasn't the frog that I wanted to catch the fish with. That's, that's something I always catch fish with. I wanted something I haven't used in a while and I wanted to catch a fish and I had one strike with this and it completely missed it. And I just, I think I just figured out why I'm moving this thing too quickly. I'm in, I'm kind of getting in a, in a panic and a rush and I'm just kind of doing this. Like this is kind of how I normally work spooks. Well, it wasn't working. That last cast, I just, just did kind of like one twitch, let it pause, two twitch, let it pause. Kind of like I would work a frog almost, not, not a continuous working it in, just a little bit slow. I slowed down and that fish crushed it. God, that makes me feel so good about my life. I was getting so, so uh, discouraged that I was not able to catch topwater fish the last few videos. And I was like, oh, for sure, you know, I'm going to a fire pond. It'll be perfect for topwater fishing. And then I was not catching any and I was getting down on myself. But guys, you just never give up. You never give up on these things. You keep throwing them. And then if you want to, if you're stubborn like me and will only use one lure, just change up your retrieval. And that is how you will figure out how to catch some fish. What? What? We are ending the day. <laughs> We are ending the day, folks. I didn't catch very many fish. They did. They caught a lot more fish than me. I probably should have put the GoPro on them. It would have been a lot more entertaining. But my goal today was to catch a topwater fish. And guess what? I did it. See, although I could have stuck with the swim jig and probably caught a lot more fish for you guys, I wanted to catch one on a spook. That was my goal, and I, I never give up. I never quit. Actually, that's a lie. I quit college, but minor details. Um, I don't quit when it comes to fishing. So I stuck with the spook. He caught quite a few on a spook. What'd you catch your fish on? Oh boy, chatterbait. Chatterbait. Oh, of course, classic. 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 Texas rig. With okay. The, with brush hogs. Oh, me too. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, great old, minds think alike. The old TRD. Old the turd. old turd. That's a, that's a classic. How about you? What'd you catch yours on beside spook? Chatterbait. Uh, spook, chatterbait, whopper plopper, and brush hog. These guys are these guys are just with great minds think alike here, folks. We're all throwing basically the same baits, catching catching fish with kayak guy and fire pond guy. That's your name. You have to change like your Instagram it's or something. Happen now. It's gonna happen I'm gonna I'll link them both down below. Go follow them on Instagram. Fire pond guy, kayak guy. There you go. It's there you have happen. it, folks. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna fish tomorrow or not, but I am making a trip out to Western Nebraska to fish a lake I haven't fished since I was in high school. I fished last time I fished it was the high school state championship, and I'm very excited to go back. I came in second place, so I'm here to redeem myself four years later, because I'm still in high school, guys. And uh, we're gonna see if we can catch some fish out on Lake, what lake is it, Merritt? Merritt Reservoir out in Valentine, Nebraska. I'm gonna go out there for a few days with the old milk and fishing. Anyways, I'm gonna quit talking. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. What are you eating? Oh, sunflower seeds. I'm kinda hungry, I need to go get some food. Anyways, thanks for watching, folks. Peace.